2019. It has been a year since it's now the tradition we've done this for five years where I just ramble about the year as a whole and just kind of share my experiences and the future of the channel and so forth. Odin needs a break. I am... This year was just... Uh, like, it wouldn't have been so bad if I was not doing everything I was doing. I did a book, I was trying to maintain the channel, which is usually where my limits are. But I was also going through a lot of medical bullshit, a lot of doctor's appointments, a lot of screenings and lab work and osteo and cardio and just pretty much everything and anything. I don't recommend having chronic illnesses. It's not fun at all. But it was just, it was a lot and... I set myself to do things that I usually do. Having everything like that compound together is just too much. So, yeah, I had a lot of great opportunities. I was doing a little bit of traveling. I was helping out a friend move, and I got to see the Midwest again, which was nice. I had some opportunities to work with people, uh, met some cool people, kept engaged with people that I knew from last year, and just had general shoot-the-shit. Um, but it also was not a great year in general for just things. I felt like I was stagnating. Um, creatively, I lost one of my babies in the beginning of the year, which was just not a great start. And I still, I, I haven't had time to get over it, per se, to mourn, really. So, I don't know, I just feel like I haven't been able to be in the present, and I, right now, after I've gotten so much done, I, like, I've finished my second book, that is an accomplishment, I finished it to a point where, not happy how I finished it, but I got it done, and I'm probably gonna revisit it later, but since I got that done, I've got a lot of other things done, I'm just very hesitant to do more projects. Like, there's some short stories that I wanted to put in for publishing that I just cannot bring myself to do. Right now, I'm in a very, very creative mood that I just want to create with my hands. I just want to do things. And that kind of bleeds into YouTube because I am finding it difficult to maintain the videos as well as creating because I'm no longer really creating for myself, if that makes sense. I'm creating, and the videos um, themselves are the real hiccup to it all, because I, I really don't enjoy editing, which everybody says editing is just part of the job, but it's just, to me, it's like pulling teeth. So, to feel like doing something creative and then feeling like, oh, I should re record this as a tutorial, kind of pulls from the enjoyment of the project. So, what I am thinking about doing, I'm not quitting, and I'm still going to do regular tutorials, but what I'm kind of thinking is doing a bit more live streaming, which I know I've said it, I say that every year. But when I am just, like, I'm thinking of just turning on the camera, chilling out, and just hanging out with you guys, and just making a project. Just not showing, like, showing my process a little bit, not necessarily teaching, but if you had questions, I'd answer the questions. Um, and just generally hanging out, because I feel like this disconnect between you guys and what I'm doing as a project. Like, I'm creating this content, and it's like, okay, next video, okay, next video, okay, next video, and I don't really get the chance to, like, engage, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna ease back. I'm gonna do the videos how I, uh, normally, how I would do them, 
but I'm probably just going to not post as often and then just do more live streaming and seeing how that goes on. Um, because I know I have a lot of projects. I've been getting into bead embroideries, and if you're in the Facebook group, you'll find out what I've been doing. Um, so I'm probably going to do those live. Um, like, I'll probably do one just to see what the design is by myself, and then just post up and be like, hey, this is what I've been doing. Um, I have a lot of, I have this mountain of repairs and tear-ups that I need to get through, uh, which would be, I think would be kind of fun for us to, like, if you have your own things you want to tear out, your own projects that you want to finish, that would be a good time to do it, and it's just going to be nice and more chill. And without that, I don't have to edit. So I'm thinking that I could still have that creative outlet and still have that engagement with you and still be able to grow the channel. In terms of my writing, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing the, this year. I kind of want to break from the full-size novels, mostly because the third book, I don't know where it's going to end. I know what's going to go on, and I know in terms of plot what I want to achieve, and it's going to be more like the first book. The second book was kind of just like a pseudo-origin story to kind of explain the main characters a bit better um, and where they came from. But the third book is going to be more or less like the first one because I love cyberpunk and I like space opera, so I'm going to kind of combine those both. Um, and it's going to be still like the mission-style stuff that I do because I enjoy that genre. But I don't have like an actual overarching big bad, so to speak. And I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm going to focus more on the marketing aspect of it because I have no idea how to expose myself, so to speak. And I'm going to try, for this year, I plan on doing a couple of things. I plan on trying to work for me instead of what is expected of me. And I'm also going to try to set limits for myself because... It's getting to the point where I cannot work as fast as I used to, and it's very frustrating to me. Like, I could just turn... I used to be able to just churn out content after content after content. And it could just be burnout, which I've just been experiencing for years. But instead of, like, doing a whole project in a day, I will take it into chunks and doing one thing a day, etc., just stuff like that, and I'm going to not feel so guilty for taking breaks, even though like where where I'm at mostly is I feel I feel guilty because I'm not doing enough, I'm not being able to grow, I'm not being able to basically support myself. I guess is the is the bottom of it. I'm not able to be independent, so to speak, and it's just the type of person I am that just doesn't jive. Basically, I'm leaving it out to the open. I'm leaving it to fate. I am going to do what I can and see what comes of it, I guess. But enough about me. I want to hear about you. I want to hear about what your plans are for next year. But I also want to hear about what happened to you this year. I want to hear about what struggles that you have triumphed over, what you have accomplished... And even if it's something as simple as getting up every day for the entire year and getting out of bed, that's an accomplishment too. It's not a small one either. And even if you weren't able to just get out of bed, that's fine too. You needed that break, obviously. So, I don't know, just tell me what your plans are, what you've been going through, what achievements you've made, what hurdles that you've utterly smashed, and let's just kind of appreciate what has been going on that we can, those successes that we had full control of and we're just able to, you know, just kind of take a moment to be present instead of having to be like, oh, I'm not at a place I want to be right now. I'm thinking about the future. I need to work for the future. I need to keep going because this is a very hustly culture we're living in right now because a lot of the things around us are just not... A not great environments to thrive in. Like, the people are just too busy because they have to survive. And we forget that there are things that we've, like, we have survived. We've gotten this far. So, those are just my two cents. And that is just what I'm doing. And my camera's about to 
fucking die. But, yes. So, with all that being said, be sure to let me know what y'all been going through. Leave me comments, say hi. I wish you all well for the next year, and we'll see. We'll just take it how it is. So, come what may, and may the fates receive you well. So, with all that being said, I think that will do it from me. Be sure to like up this video, subscribe if you want to see more bullshit from me, and especially if you want to see those live streams from me, I don't think I'm going to be scheduling them, so I'm just going to be on when I'm on. Um, that'll also take a little stress out off because I just don't with schedules. But anyway, be sure you've subscribed, do the bell shit if you want to see notifications about when I'm live. So thank you all for being here, for sticking with me, for tolerating all of my whinging, and yes, until next time.